Do you think those knights followed you here? I wonder. Well, let's do our best not to stand out. Okay, and I want to catch up with Flynn as soon as I can. All right, let's see if we can just pass through the hold. Oh, she got distracted. Where's she off to now? And repeat goes to lie down. Welcome. I've got some nice gear in stock today. This blade was forged by none other than Assam the Blade Master. It even comes equipped with weapon skills. Ooh, we're getting into skills no now. No traveler should be without them. Feel free to give it a try. Huh? What do you mean? The special techniques contained in weapons. These techniques were originally passed down from master to pupil, but the Blade Master Assam used a special process to seal them within the weapons themselves. Bodhi Blastia can acquire techniques from weapons imbued with this power. With continued use, weapon arts can eventually be learned by the person using the weapon. My, this young lady knows her stuff. That about sums it up. I read in a book that the Kritia gave this knowledge to humans long ago. Huh. I thought Bodhi Blastia only let you use strike and magic arts. In order to find the fighting style that meets your needs, it's best to think carefully about weapon skills when choosing your weapon. There are even weapons without weapon skills that focus instead on raw attack power. It all depends on your preference. If weapons you equip have weapon skills sealed inside them, those weapon skills will be stored inside your Bodhi Blastia when you equip the weapons. If you have a weapon equipped, you can use the weapon skills sealed inside whenever you want. However, if you unequip that weapon, you'll have to set the weapon skills to be able to use them. Each weapon skill belongs to one of four different categories. When you set a few different skills in a weapon, depending on what category they are, a particular glyph will appear on the core of your Bodhi Blastia. So, if you had a bunch of weapon skills for attacking, you'd see a glyph called Fleck. That glyph lets you know the strength of your physical attacks has gone up. Try all of the combinations you can think of to see what they do. I'm afraid the sun would set long before I could explain them all to you. Did you get all that? Oh, yes, I did. You learn fast. You should be able to read all about it in that young lady's book. Yay, books! I can't imagine business is all that great in a place like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here because I want to be. There are monsters on the far side of the hold, so I'm stuck. Monsters, huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. And she's not listening. Huh? Did you say something? I said I'm gonna go get some information, so you wait right there. Oh, I'll come too. That's all right. Go ahead and take it. It's pretty old and it has some pages missing, but it's yours if you like. Thank you very much. Is that book any good? It's fascinating. You can read it as soon as I finish. We obtained the battle book. So you can check the status of the battle via the battle book. You can also get inf information on weapon arts here. Check back for when you want to find out more. So yeah, that intro took a little while and I had to skip it into the next episode. So welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. <laughs> and here's another save point for you. Woo. Uh, before we head off here, you want to head back to this stall here. Uh, and here, you can get more items, magic lenses, life bottles, etc. I'm going to first top off my magic lenses. And I'm going to hit the right trigger and get over to the weapons. And as you can see, each of these has a skill attached to it. Uh, the skills that were discussed earlier on in this, in that long description here. And all these weapons are actually increasing the power of the attack, so I recommend you buy a weapon for each person in your party. You should have more than enough gold if you've been following along with me. Um, as for this stuff here, I would recommend buying only the Iron Guard and, not, and leaving the Hardened Mail because you can get one of those for free pretty quick. Uh, and that should be it here, so you can equip everything you want here. I'm going to... Oh, wait, what's here? Oh, uh, the compact sword, both Yuri and uh, Estelle can equip it, so that's why that was there. And... Here we go. Now everybody has a skill attached to it. Uh, item thrower, basically... 
Yeah, I can come back anytime. So if you go over to the skill menu, you can see that the back step is being learned. Yes, so if we push the X button and we hold push away from the enemy, uh, we will do a back step, basically just jump back from the enemy. Magic Guard, you push X and you push down, you decrease the magic damage taken. Only effective while the button is held down. That's basic. And item thrower, you able to use items on an ally. Uh, originally, um, I guess that's a pretty important point. You can only use items on yourself unless you have the item thrower equipped. So repeat is able to heal, use apple gels and all that on Yuri and, R and Estelle, but Yuri and Estelle can only use them items on themselves. So keep that in mind. Uh, so repeat is actually a, a pretty good item healer right now. Now, 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 now. Um. That's pretty much it for now. I recommend you keep every single one of your items, so don't sell anything. Uh, storeroom there. You'll want to get, oh, you want to go up here to the guard station. Next. There's a couple of items you can pick up around here. Over here there's a pile of apples, apparently, which we cannot take anything from. Oh well. Uh, we could talk to these guards if we want to, but I don't. Doesn't look like we can actually take anything from here. I may have been lying. Oh, here we go. This is the area I wanted to go to. There's some milk and eggs. There's a treasure chest here with an apple gel, and uh, we are going to head up this ladder here. And once here, we are going to head up here, and there is a guy up here. Hey, hold on. Hello? Um, I beg your pardon, but... Humanity at work. The oh, sorry, I skipped attachment that. ...to this life. Huh? Why? Why must humans live the lives they do? They fight for a share of monopolized technology and hurt even those closest to them. Hmm? You talking about Blastia? <sighs> I can't speak for anyone else, but it doesn't seem to me like there's any reason why we get dumped into the world. But once you're here, you just do what you can to give this life everything you've got. Perhaps there is truth in what you say. Hey! He's gone. What was that all about? Got me. They say the heat can make people go a little crazy. Is it hot? <laughs> Okay. Anyways, uh, when we're up here, we're almost out of time, but I think there's an item or two up... I think there's another item up here. I can't remember, though. Might be in the other direction. That's where we came up. If we go over here... Is there anything here? The dude here... Hey, you shouldn't be up here. Oh, there's nothing up here. Oh, well. Yeah, you'll want to make sure you talk to him. That was an that was an important piece of instructions to do for later tasks in the game. If you want to do if you want to do certain things later in the game, you should make sure to do that little conversation there. Is all I'm trying to say here. Go do it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to end off this video here. I've to be honest, I sort of lost track because. Uh, I've sort of lost track of how much time has been said here. Yeah, so anyways, uh, next time we're going to continue on and we're going to get a little bit more story and here in Dayton Hold and hopefully get through to the next area. See you then. Ooh, dog.